Hello everyone and welcome back to another My Porch Prints tutorial. Today we are continuing with part 3 of our My Porch Prints basic kit series. A series on how to use the most basic parts that come in nearly all of our journal kits. So go ahead and watch those first two videos if you haven't already. For today's video I'm going to be demonstrating some page decorating using some of these basic pieces. And this is going to be a real quick and dirty tutorial just giving you some simple ideas without going too decorative or too difficult. Plus, I'm also doing a bonus tutorial on one of the pieces from my Letters by Candlelight video, and I know that was really popular, so go ahead and stick around for that if you're interested. Uh, jumping right into it, we're going to be starting off with this lace page band, which is really simple to use. We're just going to go ahead and fold it in half, adding a little tape to the top and bottom on both sides of the crease. And folding it over our page, we're going to go ahead and press that down. And I'm going to take scissors and cut a little bit of the extra that's on the top. Sliding an envelope and a couple of ephemera pieces in there. And a reminder that it is able to be used on both sides. And like I said, I'm going to be keeping things pretty simple for this tutorial, but if you wanted to, you could always add some ribbon or some more decorative pieces just to make it a little more interesting. For our next page band, we're going to go ahead and find a blank page and using a little bit of Distress Ink in kind of a rosy pink shade, I'm going to go around the edges and just ink them, making them look a little bit darker and a little more distressed. All right, and just placing our page band right in the center here. This is another way you can use them besides just folding them over the edge. And adding a little tape, I'm going to tape it down near the crease and again near the edge of the page. Using some scissors, we're gonna cut off the extra and save this for later in case you wanna use it on another page. Just tucking one of our envelopes right down in there and this tutorial is a little bit out of order, so we're going to be jumping back to a page I did earlier. Using this piece of ephemera, we're going to go ahead and cut off this top part here to use on this page. And we're just going to round off the corners. Adding a little bit of Distress Ink and taping that down. Next, we're going to be grabbing a couple of buttons and some puff tape. We're going to be attaching those down on either side of our little scrap. And that's going to be it for this page. Moving on to the next page, we're going to take our large layered pocket and glue it right down on the bottom, filling it with some loose ephemera pieces from the kit. We're also going to be taking a few of these journal words, just cutting out the top three and pasting them at the top of the page. Using a little bit of puff tape so that they have a bit of dimension to them. And if you wanted to add some cheesecloth or some ribbon behind them, you could, but we're just going to keep it simple today. Going ahead and taking that scrap piece from earlier, we already cut off this top piece to use with our lace band, but we're going to go ahead and grab the book binders uh, text and use that on this page on top of our layered pocket. Just taping it on, and there you have it. That page is done. All right, flipping to a new blank page. We're going to take our large corner pockets 
and just tape those on with a couple of decorative tags. And I'm going to use a hole punch to go ahead and cut these holes out of the top. And grabbing some red and blue ribbon to match the pockets, we're going to tie a couple of bows on the top of our tags. And I'm just going to go ahead and take some scissors and cut off any of the extra that seems a little too long. Doing the same thing to the other side. And there you have it, a real basic way to use the corner pockets. All right, flipping again to a blank page. I'm gonna grab some of these layered pocket tags and a couple of these page tabs and some journal words. And we're gonna go ahead and just cut out two of these journal words and use them on the page tabs. And then after that, we're going to just go ahead and glue everything down. And I ended up changing my mind and decided to use the second tab on the side of the page just to kind of demonstrate that they can be used either way. And I'm going to place my tags sort of uh, staggered and also fill them with a couple of small ephemera pieces from the kit. And using that last piece of scrap from our earlier two projects, we're going to lay that right on the bottom here and cut out these glasses from another ephemera piece, adding a bit of distress ink around the edges. And I have a small piece of butcher's paper here that I'm going to cut the corners off of. And we're going to use these around the corners of our little glasses piece. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of glue and carefully glue these corners down. And I'm going to use a bone folder to help me sort of press the corners down since it's a little bit delicate. All right, and moving on to this scrap piece, we're gonna go ahead and use a micro hole punch to punch some holes in the corners. If you don't have a micro hole punch, you could just use a needle or an awl. And I'm gonna use a pen to mark where I want those holes to be in the page. Using a hole punch to reach the ones I can and an awl for the ones I can't. And I'm going to be using a few brads to secure this down. All right, and there you have it. That page is done. Flipping it over, I decided I wanted to cover up these brads that are sticking out of the back. So we're going to decorate this page, taking one of our ephemera pieces and some cheesecloth. I'm just going to tape it down on the top and one of our small folding cards and using a little bit of this ribbon that I have. Just cutting it and folding it in half, we're gonna glue it on the bottom, uh, only on the sides and the bottom of the ribbon so that we can use it as a pocket for these little tickets. Tucking those in. And I just grabbed another little ephemera piece to tuck on the side, quickly gluing down one of our journal words on the top of it. 
using a little bit of Distress Ink on it and gluing it down to that little ephemera piece. All right, we're just gonna fold that closed and I have these mini uh, little clothespins and I'm gonna be using this to secure it down to the page to cover up those little brads. And there you go. All right, starting on the next page, we're gonna take our small notepad and we're going to be gluing it down to the top and taking some of these leftover uh, scraps and ephemera pieces, I'm just gonna be paper clipping those together to the bottom. And I added a small piece of paper to the back of mine to make it a little bit easier to tape down. Going to take a few more journal words, distress the edges of them with some distress ink, and glue those down to the front of my notepad. A quick reminder, you know, that these pages can be as simple or complex as you want to make them. It's really up to the limit of your creativity. All right, flipping to a, another blank page, we're going to grab our coin envelopes and we're going to be using those on this page as well as making another page band. So just taking one of our decorative pages from the kit, I'm going to cut a small strip of it and using a decorative edge punch, I'm just going to go ahead and create this little lace edge here, taping it down on the top and bottom so that the coin envelopes can slide right in. I'm also going to be making a little flip out. So grabbing a scrap piece of paper, small one, I'm going to be cutting out these two square pieces. We're going to be using these like hinges. So go ahead and fold them in half. Grabbing this ephemera tag, we're going to go ahead and take another one of the decorative papers and go ahead and glue this down onto it, cutting it out so that it doesn't have a blank back anymore. You could also have just printed this out two-sided, but you know, hindsight's 2020. <laughs> All right, and grabbing a decorative tag, we're going to tape these together. And grabbing our paper hinges, we're just going to go ahead and uh, fold those over the edge, taping one side down to the front. And we're going to do that with both pieces. I just sort of eyeballed where I wanted them to be, trying not to cover up any words or anything like that. And taking the loose part of our paper hinges, we're going to just tape those down around the edge of the page. And now you should have a small fold out and just tucking our coin envelopes right back in there. They should already have the tags in them from our previous video. And when you close and open your journal back up, everything should still be held in place. All right, moving on to the next page. Find a blank one here. There we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab a couple of these pocket envelopes and I ended up swapping one of them out because I didn't like the red color for this page. And we're going to just be tying a couple of small bows with a piece of cream colored ribbon onto each of the tags that go inside the pocket. 
taking some scissors and cutting off the end of the ribbon piece, making sure that they are even. And I'm going to be adding a small book plate right into the middle. And first we're going to tape our tag envelopes down and adding a journal word. I'm going to use super glue to glue the plate down. And there you have it. Another finished page. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and gather up my remaining pieces, just to sort of take stock of what I have. And starting on one of our last pages here, I'm going to be taking this layered tag and tucking one of our tag envelopes into it and adding another page tab to the top. And a scrap piece to the bottom. And I'm going to just go ahead and mirror that on the other side as well. Cutting up this piece of ephemera to get some text for the bottom of the page. And those pages are done. Just going to flip it over and work on the back. To start, we're going to take that scrap piece of ephemera that we cut up earlier and make a slit in each of the corners, folding down the part between it and cutting it off. We're just going to tape this down onto a scrap piece from one of our decorative papers. Just along the sides and the bottom to make a pocket cutting off the extra. We're going to set that aside for now and grab this little teacup ephemera and tape it to the top of a lace doily, which we will then paste down onto the page right in the center. And grabbing the last few journal words we have and a little bit of cheesecloth, we're going to tape them down around the page And taking that ephemera pocket, we're going to go ahead and tape it down to the bottom of the page. I went ahead and filled it with some leftover scraps and ephemera pieces. And there you go. That is all of our pages done. And you should have a fairly full journal. Last, we're going to go over a tutorial for one of the pieces from the Letters by Candlelight video, which is this piece here. And this is the one that came with the freebie. So if you haven't gotten that yet, go ahead and jump over to our Facebook group and join so that you can get that freebie and print it out for this project. All right, to start, we're going to take this piece of ephemera that comes in the kit. And again, I'm gonna use a scrap piece of paper for the back since I didn't print anything on the back of it. And cutting off the extra, you should have something like this. Next, we're gonna grab the small folding card from the kit. And laying our first piece on top of it, we're just gonna trace around it so that they are the same size. Cutting that out and cutting it in half. Next, we're going to line them up, make sure everything fits, and punch out a hole right in the center edge of each of the flaps. Now, mine ended up being a little bit uh, crooked, so when you're doing this, try to get them straight across from one another. It just makes them look a little nicer, but it won't hurt anything if they are a little crooked. And taking our strip of tickets, we're going to cut them out into individual pieces. And we're gonna use these for hinges. So again, folding these in half. And we're going to go ahead and lay out our uh, little doors, so to speak. And 
tape down each of our hinges onto the main center piece. Just one side, and I went ahead and had all of my images facing inwards. Adding a bit more tape to the other side of the hinges, we are going to tape down our little doors. Pressing everything down. And if you find that you have a little too much sticking out over the edge for any reason, you can just go ahead and take some scissors and cut that off. And it shouldn't cause any sort of problems or issues. And there you go, you should have a little folder. And I'm just gonna take those freebies from earlier and tuck those inside. Folding it shut. And I ran out of red ribbon from my previous video, so I'm going to use this cream colored ribbon again from earlier and tie a bow through those two little holes that we punched. But as you can see, the pictures will still fall out, so I'm going to add a, another ribbon around the other side of the folder and tie another bow. And now everything should stay in place. And there you have it. Grabbing our journal, we're going to flip to the last blank page we'll be using today. And I'm just going to use this candle here to hold these pages down and taking a clip, I'm just going to clip that onto one of my blank pages. And there you go, there is the finished journal. I hope that this basic kit series was helpful to anybody who is new to our shop, and I can't wait to see what kind of creations you make going forward. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!